Yeah, like every week we would like to show you some interesting um, topics from the US exchange. Um, on the screen you can already see the S&P 500. And um, yeah, especially this week, go a little bit more detailed in the um, chart on the left side. It's the first week um, where we don't have a new all-time high in the S&P 500. Um, in April, I would say we almost had in the last um, two weeks every day a new all-time high. But um, yeah, as you might follow the news yesterday, this was um, about some concerns that the interest will be um, raised in the US. Uh, what's always a bad signal for the exchanges, for the stock exchanges, because then there's an alternative um, investment instead of like um, stocks. If um, yeah, interest uh, will be on a higher level for for the future. But as we can see. And what's for me also a um, very important sign for the next day or for uh, probability how we will start the next day. It uh, was already going up at the end of the day. And I assume the next days will be also positive. We can also see it here in the candle. The body of the candle was quite um, um, small. So um, yeah, normally this doesn't look like uh, that there will be um, a second or third day with a, a red candle like we had it yesterday. But uh, of course, this also depends on a lot of other um, factors, uh, what we will see in the, in the next days. But let's go to some interesting um, symbols, some interesting stocks from the uh, last days. Um, mainly we had here one biotech company with the symbol OCGN. Um, and here, very interesting. It happened, I think, um, on the end of April when the um, stock um, had his breakout above $8, this um, green candle here. Um, since that moment, um, we have a very high call and put vol volume, what also causes uh, this uh, great volatility, what we can see here um, in the chart of the stock itself. On the left hand side, you can see one example where we had uh, quite a few option traders um, or like a good volume of uh, people who invest in this um, option with a strike price of $12.50. That's exactly the price where we are at the moment. And um, yeah, with the candle from Monday, where we already reached $16, uh, the option almost doubled. And now we will wait. What's the performance for the um, next days with um, OCGN can be still a good investment. But um, yeah, as you can see, it's also quite volatile in, in both sides. Um, so um, might be also a um, great um, stock for a watch list um, where you can um, see if you can get a cheaper entry price, for example, or better entry price um, after a correction for example. Yeah, but other than this, uh, we also want to show you some more details about some um, companies who will or who already brought their um, earnings because um, yeah, end of April, beginning of May, this is the peak season of the earnings. All big companies uh, almost reported their earnings. Um, so there were quite interesting movements, but mainly in this period of time, most of the option volume is uh, related to the earnings where people are betting on, um, yeah, on a big jump, um, either up or down. Um, this is quite common in the earnings seasons, but um, it's very important to know with options, it's not so easy because all the options having an implied volatility. So mainly there's um, already um, some big gap um, in the price included. You can also easily calculate this, but this is another topic what we can discuss in some of our option tutorials. Yeah, other, um, or one of these stocks is, for example, um, from the gaming industry, ATBI, um, where we saw like yesterday, very interesting um, um, chart. There's a support here at $89, but all these um, charting or, or chart analysis at the end doesn't matter because um, the earnings uh, were reported I think this morning we can already see the stock is um, um, 3% up. 
even if you can't see it in the chart, it's uh, displayed here. So the last price now is at $92. Yesterday you saw it closed here almost at 89. So this is also something what is uh, for everyone who's analyzing a chart what's quite complicated because earnings they produce um, sometimes a quite big um, up gap or down gap and then um, all your analysis from the charts um, of the last day might be not so important if um, the stock um, is uh, moving in a totally different price level, I would say. Yeah, but other than um, these, we also had quite a few more interesting um, stocks. Uh, one is a very small, but small company, but like uh, it's Yext Incorporation. Um, there, there were a few um, long calls yesterday to June with a strike price of 15. But if you can see the chart of Yext, um, yeah, it's also quite interesting here at a level of 13. Um, so far, I think the call volume was a positive um, signal yesterday, um, but um, from the chart itself, I would say it's still um, in a quite big downtrend. And uh, when this um, support line at $13 will not, um, um, will be, um, break down or um, price will go below this $13, then um, I think we will continue in this downtrend. What the X at the end is having, let's say since the end of February, where the price was here at um, $20. Um, but let's see um, what the option volume uh, will bring us for the next days um, and um, how yeah, how this information will help us to identify maybe a, a new trend here for the symbol um, of the company Yext. Um, another quite interesting um, ETF from yesterday is, I think, one of the yeah, quite famous uh, ETFs. The uh, symbol is ARKK. It's the ARK Innovation ETF. Um, what was um, having a super uptrend uh, the whole last year, um, but mainly like everything else. Um, also this year till February, it reached $160. And now we can see here the support line at $110. What is uh, very important, um, here's a benefit of if all ETFs, I think is a benefit. There's, um, and there's no earnings for the ETF itself. So there might be not that big um, gaps what we see in single stocks. Um, and um, yeah, here yesterday we had like 190,000 put options comparing to only 83,000 call options. There were a lot of bets that um, ARKK will um, break to the $110. Um, we saw puts of um, with strike price 105, 110, or also 100. Here, for example, we had this um, put option for the 20. Uh, first of May with a strike price of 105. Um, and um, yeah, who's looking for some opportunities uh, if the market is going down? As this stock is um, yeah super volatile, I think on a down move, what we already hear, saw here at the beginning of March, um, you can easily uh, make in two, three days, um, 20, 30 dollars um, per, per stock. On the other hand side, of course, it's also um, a risk when it goes against you. And that's why for um, yeah, ETFs like this, um, it's quite interesting to consider also some option trades. Yeah, another example for um, earnings, uh, what I want to present you at the end is um, Pfizer. Pfizer, we can see also two days of a um, spike in option volume. This was the day before and after the earnings. Um, Pfizer normally is not tending to having um, such a big gaps after reporting the earnings. But um, yeah, as we can see, Nothing really happened yesterday, even um, it was um, quite a volatile day for Pfizer. It still closes with a small profit. Um, interesting might be if the uptrend continues um, and then the moment it looks like it will continue if Pfizer can still reach here the 52 week um, high from um, the beginning of December, what is um, around about at $43. Um, dollars. 
Um, and this, so like many other things, we will keep you updated. So feel free to subscribe to our channel to not miss any of the upcoming um, videos. Um, and um, yeah, I'm quite curious uh, how this week will go. And uh, if we can see maybe some interesting um, stocks like what we had in the last few weeks. Um, and um, I'm happy to share this information with you. So also feel free to leave any comment or um, any recommendation um, for the next videos. Thank you very much and um, talk to you soon.